Most times when you think of a smartwatch, what you're probably imagining is something like this. Or this. Something with a screen. This watch, however, is a little bit different. What I have on my wrist right here is the Withings Activite Pop. This is not just your average sub $200 smartwatch. Oh no! What makes this watch completely different from almost any other mainstream smartwatch is the fact that it does not have a screen <gasps> at all. And I don't just mean that it uses e-ink like the Pebble smartwatch. I mean that to the untrained eye, this just looks like a normal analog watch. It has a watch face on which we find hands that turn in a circle in order to tell you the time. There's a big one for telling you the minute and a little one for telling you the hour. It's revolutionary, I know, but I promise you that it will catch on. The watch looks pretty much like a normal analog watch. The only thing you'll notice it's missing is a dial on the side. That's because it actually sets the time using your smartphone. When you connect it to your smartphone, it will tell the watch through Bluetooth what time it is. The hands then move into their own position. So there's no actual gears, just little motors inside of it. The only problem I notice with this is that sometimes it gets off and then it has to recalibrate. So then you're looking down at the watch and the hands go flying all over the place. It is also kind of cool when you see that happen because it, it looks like some ghost is dialing up your watch. In profile view, the watch does look a little bit fat, but it's really not that noticeable on your wrist, especially because it's very, very light. The enclosure of the watch is actually aluminum with a glass face, so it's very high-end, except for the bands, which are rubber. One thing you don't notice is any sort of port whatsoever. That's because this is not a battery that you are going to need to charge. The battery in this smartwatch lasts eight months. Not eight days, not eight weeks, but eight months. I dare you to find one smartwatch that can do all of this and last eight months. Go ahead, find it. You can! There are four things that this watch can do. Number one, activity tracking. So it tracks your steps, your running and jogging basically. Number two, swim tracking. It can track how many laps of water you swim. Number three, a silent alarm. If you leave this watch on your wrist, it can wake you up with a subtle vibration. And number four, sleep tracking. It can track stages of your sleep somehow. Now, you might be wondering, how does this smartwatch know all that and tell you if it doesn't have a screen? The first way is to see your overall progress. You may have noticed a little mini dial inside the watch face. That is your progress counter in percentage. All the way from zero to a hundred, and then it goes back to zero and keeps going if you exceed your goal. Now that doesn't really show you the full picture, so in order to get everything there, you need to download the app. This smartwatch is probably the most reliant on your smartphone of any other smartwatch. Let's take a look at the smartphone app that you can get with your Activite. I suppose you could get it without the watch, but what's the point of that? Your home screen, you'll notice you have your overall progress, your steps taken, and any other relevant information that you might need. You'll see your activity today, your percentage completion of your goal with a nice little graph behind it, and you'll see these two cards at the bottom that tell you some things that aren't very important at all. If we swipe over to the side, you'll notice we have a timeline, a dashboard, a leaderboard, a profile, and reminders. Let's take a look at the reminders. You can actually have the watch remind you to do certain things through the phone's notifications. There's a whole bunch of other stuff you can do with the app that's not very interesting, including looking at your profile, looking at leaderboards, which you can actually invite your friends and compete. 
which is great for seeing how inferior you are compared to other people. And you can also look at the settings and give feedback and add devices and all the smorgasbord of other things that you can do. Now in addition to being your activity tracker, this whole app can actually function as a health tracker in general. In the dashboard section you can add widgets including weight, heart rate, blood pressure, and food. A lot of these things are things you have to actually put in yourself, but it sort of brings this whole idea of tracking your activity and your sort of calorie consumption and sleep tracking all into this one app. The other thing that you can do is using the smartphone's camera, it can track your heart rate, which is kind of spooky. It's pretty cool though, you put your finger over the lens of the camera and then it has a little heart rate thing at the bottom of the screen and you go, wow, look at that, that's super cool. And then it tells you something really discouraging, like fast, you need to exercise more. Thanks watch for telling me that. The Activite Pop is actually the lower end version of this design. There is a higher end version for sale for about $450, which I think is completely ridiculous because it's the same technology. That being said, however, I do think the Activite Pop is on the expensive side of things at $150. Now, while that may not be a lot compared to something like a Galaxy Gear or an Apple Watch, if you compare it to, say, a Moto 360, which is also $150, but that I think gives you quite a lot more features, it seems like it's a bit much. One upside to this, however, might be the fact that there is no screen makes it a little bit less nerdy than having a screen smartwatch that you sit there poking at all day. Overall, when compared to a Fitbit, which I think is its best competitor, I think it's much better. I personally would choose this over a Fitbit any day, especially since it has that classic watch design and that companion app that really lets you bundle it all into one. Thanks guys for watching this video and as usual don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Luke Miani and don't forget to give a like on this video and subscribe to catch more videos from me every week.